Hello everyone, Ray Space here, back with my Neofly career in Microsoft Flight Sim, and I'm looking to upgrade to the DC-3. And I'm hoping it's going to be one of the classic ones, but there are also the retrofit ones, which will have, I guess, updated instrumentation. But let's take a look at Neofly and see which version is actually for sale. All right, so we've got this Emerald Harbor, that Emerald Harbor, and then uh, if I wanted to buy one outright, this World Travel. But uh, it doesn't say either one is the Emerald Harbor that's a retrofit. Uh, no, Emerald Harbor is a retrofit one. Oh, gosh darn it. So, yeah, the Emerald Harbor one only comes in the retrofit edition. And there's two of them. Don't have too much of a choice. I'll just get the cheaper one. That's a little bit worse of an engine. But, yeah, so I need to get a loan. I've got to take a million dollar loan. And then I am going to purchase the plane with uh, some trepidation. All right, it's risky. Fine, and I suppose I should just uh, return the one I've got. So I'm going to transfer there. And the Milvis, I'm going to go ahead and return. And get the deposit back. All right, so that is the situation. Now, now. Well, we can carry more weight, can't we? And the jobs are more lucrative for sure. But what do I feel safe about doing for my first flight with the DC-3 in this series? Well, let's keep it relatively short. Let's say an hour-long flight. This is a fairly short distance. It's got better XP, but I would have to land at less than 200 feet per minute. I don't want to test that out just yet. This one, 14 passengers, must take off by 1850. Huh. So it's a sort of timely thing. That's a lot of XP. Are we agreed on what the time is right now? I wonder. <laughs> I guess that's not a problem. Yeah, this is this airliner regional. Available at those airports, no qualification required, just need an airliner. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try it. Doesn't have any other requirements. So, Emerald Harbor refit. And we'll, we'll sort out the details out there. We are going from BIST. And I'll be on a ramp. I should start it up and everything. This doesn't really have a whole lot. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the fuel box. I hope I don't... Uh, I'm worried about crashing into it. I'll take the GA small. It's probably safer. Okay, and our destination will be... VAFA. Faizabad Airport. And that is... I mean... It's okay. All right. And otherwise, live would be good. Yep. All right. Let's fly. Can I start it? That is the question. Oh, we've got this other is the things. Final boarding call for passengers. Please proceed to gate 3 immediately. The final checks are being completed, and the captain will order for the doors of the aircraft to close in. Uh, no offense, but that sounds like a kid. Time. If, if that is an adult, my apologies, but that's not like a kid Ladies to me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. As you find your seat, may we request that you place large items in the overhead compartments and smaller sized belongings, including duty-free bags and liquids, under the seat in front of you. Our cabin crew are available to assist. Okay, here we are. And let's check the mass and all that stuff first. There we go. Fuel is fine. Could probably do with less. Alright, so it's a cold and dark start, ground power on, and we're going to pump up the hydraulics. Yes, this is a thing. The hydraulic pressure is over there. So we make sure that we have hydraulic pressure. 
so that we can open the cow flaps, among other things. Okay, that's fine. Shut that off. Open the cow flaps. Okay, it's not open. All right, open. All right, then let's get some lights on. And I'm going to uh, put the master ignition on. Okay, just give a little bit of priming to each of them. And then right mesh. Oh, booster pumps. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, in my experience, this thing can start even if you do things in wildly incorrect orders, though. Oh, speaking of wildly incorrect orders, we probably need to have the fuel on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> but it is warming up. Okay. Alright. Left engine. Mesh. Left. Okay. You're good to go. Contact they are both the started. Clearance. No, that one does not sound started. Oh, the beacon was off. And we can turn off the booster pumps now. Hopefully. The engines are apparently on, but I can't really hear them. So I open the window. Still can't hear them. Wait, are they on? They are on. It's awful quiet. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, fine. So... Let's get the landing lights on. At least we can do that. Ground power, uh, battery on, ground power off. Um, we don't need cold and dark start on anymore. That's fine. Doors that are closed. They're still on. Okay. Oh, that should be set up there. Oh, there we go. No wonder if they weren't sounding right. The prop levers were down. My physical one was up. It was just that this wasn't matching that. Okay. Well, I guess we can go, but I have to be very careful about turning here. Okay, first big plane. Servicing really small airports. We're headed north, basically. Okay. <laughs> My turning radius is a little bit wide for this. Okay, well... Let's find out. Whoa. Whoa. No. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. You can stay on the runway. You can stay on the runway. I believe in you. This is gonna be fun. Tail draggers. Still the easiest tail dragger I can imagine. But... Alright, we're off. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened sure, while uh, the seatbelt is Passengers were thrilled. Off. We recommend to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated. Toilets are located at each end of the cabin. Remember that smoking okay, is the not permitted pressure into at green. any time. This includes the cigarette. Now, I don't know. I guess there is an autopilot on here because this is the modern one. Of course, there was a probably rudimentary autopilot on the classic one. And that would just hold orientation or something like that. I guess I should check whether the autopilot works. <laughs> hmm... I mean, I don't really need the autopilot for such a short flight, but I might as well try it out. Okay, you can hold vertical speed. Desired heading. Alright. Okay. 
Can you hold that desired heading? It's a little bit different to, uh, than what I set it to. Okay, it's definitely not following this one. Well, I'll just control heading for now. Yeah, I don't quite get what whether it has any connection to this desired heading at all or not. Okay, tracking it at 186 knots right now. Where is my fuel indicator? There... Well, not that. Okay, left main will do. They're both basically full right now. Okay, folks, there we are. A little DC-3 on our way on our first mission to VAFA. 70,000 bucks for 14 passengers. Well, not particularly a lot to see right now. Not even a river as such. There are little lakes every now and again. Oh, the drone camera. This is my first time trying to use the drone camera in one of these videos. How do I... I guess I can't roll the camera, unfortunately. Seems rolled a little bit weird. The DC-3's wing really looks quite long, uh, depending on your focal point. Try to do an orbit of the plane. Yeah. There we go. I'll be a drone camera expert in no time, I'm sure. Hmm. Retract the landing lights, I suppose. Uh, I'll probably forget about them like that. Oh, we've turned quite a bit. Well, that is a sadly polygonal lake. Yeah, those shores probably aren't right at all, are they? Okay, well, still not the most uh, picturesque landscape right now. And, well, there is a river back there. Let's see if I can figure that one out. Yamuna River. Oh, well, that's a big river. The Yamuna River is a significant river. Don't feel like it's being given its due right now, but there it is. So I think we're in the state Uttar Pradesh. And we're headed again to Faizabad, which is uh, Close to Ayodhya, sort of a famous city. I do hope that I can fly a lot of flights low with this. Keep it scenic. Should have a lot of margin as far as fuel is concerned for most of these missions. This river coming up is the Ganges River. And after that, Sai River. This is a small one. And at our destination, that river. Well, it is time to check on Google Maps. Apparently, the Gagara River. The Gagara River is the largest tributary of the Ganges by volume. So, but this is the Ganges. Ganges River. Not apparently near any large cities around here. The viewpoint in the DC-3 is pretty good. You can definitely see down from the windows like this. Okay, Ganges behind us. I'm sure we'll cross it many times while we're here. 
Well, I'm sure the Bijan Habashi tree pack is doing a lot of work here, adding trees. Uh, maybe, maybe they're stock. I don't know. But at least it's giving a little bit more to the landscape, though. There's definitely spots where there ought to be buildings that just aren't being captured by the by the autogen. The autogen is missing out on a lot of buildings here. Well, there's some that it actually got. That's nice. But there are surely quite a few that did not. It did not. Not bad outside the window, though. Uh, though I wish it was not the dry season being depicted. I mean, except for the trees. Okay, approaching our destination. There's the Gagara River there. And, well, I'd better communicate. That's the one. Well, I got to select a runway. Let's go with runway 12. Oh, connection lost again. Gosh darn it. Will my passengers be happy? I need something that has people screaming when they're unhappy. Got a fair headwind. Like 17 knots the difference between the air speed and the ground speed, though you have to adjust for the fact that that's miles an hour, not knots there. The approach is a lot slower because of the headwind than I expected. How many flap settings does this have? I still don't see the little thing going to the down position. It's got a lot of flap positions. Now that's like only half now it's approaching three quarters. All landing lights, shoot. That wasn't the softest landing I've seen. 171 is fine for the first time for plane. Gosh. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Okay, we're on the tailwheel. All right, well, I guess over here will be good. This is not 30. I'm not on the taxiway yet. Gosh. I see, yeah, the ground speed is only 20. Beacon and strobe off. Well, I think I can just park here, to be honest. Okay. Well... I'm just going to do the cutoff method. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Please ensure that you have all your personal belongings with you as you leave the aircraft. Also remember that smoking is only permitted in designated 55 areas minutes. of the airport. Okay, they are offboarding. Mission sort of successful, though I'll have to remember the lights again. <laughs> Always with the lights. A lot of costs with this plane. Fuel, airport fees, the rented aircraft running costs. Transporter from dispatch. Disembarkation completed. Thank you. But See all you right. soon for another mission. Managed it. And got some experience. Everything is on board. All right. Well, let's say I try for a longer flight. All right, I think I'm going to try to pick up the full load of 28 passengers here. And we're still on time for takeoff. Okay. So full up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. As you find your seat, may we request that you place large items in the overhead compartments and smaller sized belongings. Okay, got something going. Left, mesh, go. Oh, things have died. The left one does not seem to be cooperating. Well, something's not quite working here. You're good oh, to go. Apparently Contact I need the battery on in between that in order to get the left one on. I don't know why I needed a battery on in order to get the left one on, but alright. It's warming up. 
Well, uh, I don't think I need to contact the power, and we're gonna take off, and I'm headed south. That's not gonna be programmed into this, though. I'll have to make sure to keep the back wheel down. Well, I'm going this way now. I've changed my mind. Yeah, I think keeping the back wheel down is the main thing. Okay, now... Ah, oh, landing lights, shoot. Okay, come on, accelerate. Ah, this thing. Okay, but yes, tail wheel down, very important. Oil temp is sorta of high. I'm in the green zone on the manifold pressure. Okay, we are proceeding. Emerald Harbor Air is a little bit confused. They've got the green thing going and the blue thing going. Blue and black thing going. It's too many different colors, darn it. Well, got some darker clouds above us. I'm just gonna get the landing lights on now. Oh yeah, it's getting, getting definitely misty around here. All right, well, our 28 passengers are probably horrified by now. At least this part is relatively stable. All right, I finally messed with the GPS and got it understanding where I want to go. So it seems like an hour and 25 minutes. We've got a headwind of 18 knots, so that's fighting against us. I mean, it could be the dry season, or it could all be wheat, I guess. Or, you know, stuff that produces yellow products, one way or another. Alright, we're passing by Varanasi, or at least it's over there in the distance. Uh, but that is the Ganges River. There's a site here. There's a stupa, Damek stupa, somewhere over there. Seems to be a bridge over there too, but that's probably just a small bridge. But yeah, we won't be able to see anything over there from this distance, especially since I'm fairly low. Well, it's been pretty flat so far, but we seem to be approaching some little mesas. That's what I'll call these. They are sort of flat on top. There's a proper canyon over there, actually. Well, we are approaching another river. There is a Sone River, S-O-N-E. Still a fair ways to go. We've got 47 minutes. Wind is still very much in our face. So these are sort of offshoot cannons and sort of up in front, you can see the Sony River over there. Doesn't seem particularly populated over here. This seems to be a park, though. It's in green there. Ah, well, there's some settlements there. Some fields we can see here. Yep, this has been a nice little diversion or a difference in the terrain. I appreciate it. <laughs> There's a mine over there, it looks like. Or a quarry. The river itself doesn't seem to have formed canyon stuff. It's just... Uh, Higher courses it made probably did all that work. All right, 35 minutes left. This is the view out of the cabin. All right, the headwind has mostly cleared up. We now have a slight crosswind. And 22 minutes remaining in the flight. This is how the landscape looks. There's a park to our right, this uh, Palamau National Park. So that 
even though there's quite a lot of forest over here, apparently that side's the national park. We should be able to fly straight in. Runway is nice and long. It's uh, runway 13 that's available. And I don't see any reason to believe that the wind would be more favorable in the opposite direction. But we'll see if they let us. The plan from here on is to work my way up to the DC-6 and be able to pay for it without any additional loans except for the one million I took out for this. Now of course the thing with that loan is uh, 100,000 is going to come due every week. But looking to accumulate uh, 2.2 million and then the the deposit for this was 800,000 so that'll give us 3 million and that should be enough for the DC-6. Well, that mountain might be too much for me. I don't want to ascend or anything. Well, I don't have a name for this mountain. Yep. It's whatever this green area is, but I don't have a name for it. It's Persa Munda Airport. The altitude of the runway is 2,109 feet, so I don't have to do too much descending here. It's a cute little plane. I also like how much visibility it has off the ground as it flies, considering it flies so flat. Nice wing provides that capability. Suddenly, visibility is not great, great. Okay, well, we're clear though. Okay, gear coming down. Okay, where are you? Okay, there you are. Well, it's a long runway and I plan to use it. Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Okay. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Okay, okay, okay. Where even are the taxiways? I've got a lot of custom airports for India from flightsim.to, but I never seem to fly into them. Gate. Whoa, there? It's awful close to some trees. Okay. Taxi to gate one one by a taxiway, Alpha Cross Runway Tree One, Ray Eyes Romeo, Alpha Four. That's better have enough clearance for my wings. My little general aviation plane, you know. Well, you know what? I'm not going to follow that line. I, I can see the parking spot over there. I'm not going to get that close to those trees. I don't know if they're collidable trees or not collidable trees. It depends on whether they're stock or whether they're Bijanabashi, I think. Uh, no, I don't think my wind's, wing's going to make that. So I'm just going to go this way. It's always the Bronco and the F-22. <laughs> As far as stuff at the airports. F-22 is everywhere. Brakes on the DC-3 are nice. It doesn't tend to flop to its nose. It doesn't tend to bounce on landing. It's much easier than any other tail dragger, really. 
Ok, cut out. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Please ensure that you have we don't all have your a personal seatbelt belongings sign. with you as you leave the aircraft. 232 XP, apparently. Alright, battery. One, or, one hour and 40 minutes. 28 passengers. That might be more than I've carried all together so far. Transporter from dispatch. Disembarkation completed. All right, we got See you paid soon for another mission. Might have even gotten a bonus. Yeah, we got uh, 166,000 altogether for the mission. Let's go. No, let's not go. I am. I am done for today. 489,000 is a good haul. Of course, some of that was part of the loan, but anyway, you get the picture. We are in the DC-3 now, and it's working out for me. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.